hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about linear time invariant and linear time variant so if you observe the words clearly there is linear time invariant and linear time variant so any system which follows linearity and time invariant if it is linear and in time invariant then it is LTI system else if it is linear time variant if it is follows linearity and time variant and it is time variant then it is called as LTV which is nothing but linear time invariant so first let us go through LTI a system which is linear as well as time invariant is called as linear time variant system that we have discussed right now sorry time invariant system okay okay is it clear guys I hope it's clear for you guys okay LTV is nothing but a system is said to be LTV when it satisfied both linearity and time variant so in one of our previous lectures we have discussed about what is linearity how we can verify it and we also discussed about how we can say that whether the signal is time variant or time invariant okay so now let us go through few examples I have written three examples guys so we'll be going through one after the other and we will be also going through properties of LTI system and we will be also also trying to learn about transfer function of LTI basically LTV system is not included in our syllabus guys but it exists so that's the reason why I have just written a small note on that that's it so let us take an example y of n is equals to n into x square of n so when we assume two signals right so we are having linearity so we should assume two signals so the first signal is x1 of n second is x2 of n so when we pass x1 of n in place of here let us place n and we multiply with a so a n x1 square of n similarly here b with x2 y2 of n is equals to a n x2 square of n that's it now we'll be adding them so i hope everyone remember guys the linearity will be in this way first initially they both are passed to the system and then they are added here individually these both are added and then they pass through the system in the other case this is what we called as homogeneity is that homogeneity guys okay, let me check just in a second okay that is additivity guys so these are the things that I was about to say this is additivity and this is homogeneity initially we will be passing through them systems and then they will be then we will be adding initially we will be passing through adding them and then we will be passing through the system that is additivity homogeneity is nothing but first we will be multiplying with a constant and to system in another case we will be passing through the system and then we will be multiplying with a constant so if these both and these both these both are equal and these both are equal separately then the system is called as linear so let us go through some examples okay so we done till here right so we'll be adding the final result okay so once we done this let us assume as first equation and in other situation we will be just multiplying for these two a and b and we'll be adding them a x1 of n plus b x2 of n so this is our new x of n right so we'll be substituting it in place of x of n i hope everyone knows in signals we can write like this whole square so that's the reason why that's how we will be getting this whole square outside so here 1 and 2 are not matching so hence the system is non-linear guys so this system is not under any of the above two situations which we have discussed right now the, in both situations it should be linear first okay so it does not belong to any of those systems okay fine so we can say that there are different different types of systems guys those are not the only two systems there are many types of systems so let us now try to check whether it is time variant or invariant so initially first directly substitute in place of this n substitute something t n minus n naught like that so here i substitute n minus k so it's fine so this will be our first equation and our second equation initially we will be delaying this function right yeah initially we will be delaying this function and then we will be substituting the value so if we delay the function okay if we try to delay this function what will be getting guys that is nothing but let us assume that as x2 of n minus k now i'll be substituting this in the place of this so it becomes like this guys something like this so it should not be here k should not be there so here i think both are matching is that true yeah they are matching guys so it is time invariant system guys it is not depending on time so it is equals to it is a non-linear time invariant system okay so now let us go through one more example 
okay fine so in this example now let us go through this y of n is equals to n into x of n so we will be assuming two signals y1 of n and y2 of n okay so when we pass x1 of n signal through this we gonna get n a x1 of n yes when we pass x2 of n through this system we gonna get y2 of n that is equals to n into n b into x2 of n we'll be assuming two constants a and b now we'll be adding them so we can take n common n into a x1 of n plus b x2 of n so this will be our first result and the second that is b is equals to capital b is equals to initially we'll be multiplying a here and multiplying b here and we'll be adding them a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n so here this will be passing through this so in place of x we will be substituting this whole part so we got n of a x1 of n plus b x2 of n this will be our second equation so 1 is equal to 2 hence this is a linear system guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this so now let us check whether it is a time variant or time invariant okay so basically we can check that really easily guys so first directly in place of n place n minus k inside the parenthesis only guys don't place outside okay so we have updated it so we got n x1 of n minus n so in this case initially we passed it in, into the system and then we delayed it guys so that's the reason why we got like this so now let us delay it first and then we will be passing through this okay sorry sorry just just give me a second guys okay so the two cases will be like this guys in first case we'll be first passing through the system and then we will be delaying it in the second case we will be delaying and then we will be passing through the system so initially this condition is when we pass it directly through the system and then we delay it glazing is nothing but we will be just placing n minus k that's it so in the second case when we delay it first so initially it will be x of n when we delay it sorry x1 of n when x2 of n so when we delay it it becomes x2 of n minus k and when we place it right here this becomes time invariant guys so it is l t i system guys okay and there is one more example i was confused on that day guys i think i was a bit messed up on that day so now let us go through one more example it is y of n is equals to x into n minus 2 this is our first signal and this is our second signal so x1 of n will be first x2 of n will be 2 second signal so just multiply it with a and b and just place x1 of n and add them so this is our result so in this another situation we will be just first multiplying a multiplying b then adding these and then passing through the system we added them and then we pass this through the system so when we pass this through the system we will be just adding them directly in place of n plus n minus 2 will be replaced in these two positions so these both equations are exactly same hence it is a linear system guys so now let us go through one more example sorry we need to continue it right i forgot that we need to do time variant and invariant also so initially let us substitute n minus 2 so we'll be substituting n minus k right so directly substitution that will be the first part and in second part we'll be just delaying it first right so x1 of n minus k so when we pass it through the system it becomes n minus k minus 2 yeah it's a time invariant system as both are equal so hence the system is time invariant okay guys so now i hope everyone is now 100 percent clear with all the topics that we have discussed till now we have discussed about lti system and ltb system guys okay guys let us meet in the next tutorial we'll be going through some properties of lti system and transfer function of lti system thank you thanks for watching